I am not worried in any way about the robots taking over right now. I feel like if this is what we've got for robot vacuum technology, we are safe. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Logic Bots and after the last episode we had a little bit of an issue finishing up the final level here in the military section. So there was an issue with the hydraulics and there's a hydraulic piston as well as sort of a 90 degree piston and neither of them worked and they actually caused my save file to become corrupt. So I did go and I emailed the dev and he got back and he said they actually fixed that. It was a bug that had happened with one of the updates and now we have this really simple remote control car. We now can actually apply the hydraulics to it. So we've got two types of hydraulics. One is this type of hydraulic here, the 90 degree hydraulic, and the other is the linear piston. And we can really simply in the circuit board, hook these ones up to a couple of hotkeys. So you can see we've got another radio receiver here and uh, we'll just hook one up to E and one up to Q. Not really a big deal something like that and you can see now they actually work so this one extends that way and this one pushes that way they are very bulky though i noticed like they're they're relatively large but they do seem to do their job and uh my original idea to beat this level was just to use something like this have it kind of lean up against the wall and then press this button and that would you know push us over the wall and i tried that and it, it didn't really work so you can see we can go up here we also can't rotate the camera which kind of sucks but we can go here and you see even if we push with E, it doesn't really get over the wall. I spent a good hour, I would say at least, trying to build different mechanisms just to sort of push us over the wall, and I really couldn't figure it out. So for now, we're not gonna worry about the assault course. I'm curious as to what you guys think as to how to beat that in the comments, or if you have any good ideas, let me know in the comments down below. It is a very difficult course though, because you have to go over the wall, and then whatever you build has to be small enough to fit through a pipe afterwards. But we're gonna move on to the contractor's area. This area looks pretty sweet. We've got the grass cutting, a vacuum clean, and then a single motor challenge, which is basically like building a, a robot that steers and has, you know, one set of wheels that drive and then it has to steer as well as balance beams and then we get into a bunch of walking robots you can see walking 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 and wall climbing so i'm really excited to try and build walking robots of course it is nice that the hydraulics work but uh for this episode i think we're gonna look at doing the grass cutting and the vacuum clean and uh just you know making sort of those automatic robots that we've got in real life should be pretty easy i would think uh we'll take a look at the objectives we got to build a logic bot that will autonomously cut grass. The logic butt must cut at least 99% of the grass to the level. That's really, really high. Um, complete the level in two minutes or less. Complete the level with a robot cost of 750 or less. Your logic butt must not use more than one grass sensor. So if we look at the level, uh, we start on the one side here and we've got this pretty simple grass square. So I think all we're gonna do is just spiral in from the outside all the way to the middle and that'll cut all the grass. So we've got the uh, mowing bot here, which uh, we'll just put four wheels on it, I guess. Apparently we use a grass sensor. So what does this do? It uses an infrared beam to detect the grass between two prongs. If it detects long grass and low, oh, okay. So we just have to detect the grass. Okay, so I think the way to do this is really simple because we're gonna spiral from the one side, we're only allowed to use one sensor. So all we gotta do is make sure that if this sensor doesn't sense any grass, that it turns to the right. So when it drives straight, it'll drive straight along this edge, hopefully with the sensor just along the edge. And then when it gets to this end of this edge here, it'll rotate to the right and then go along this edge and keep going. So that should be pretty simple to do. And uh, we'll just wire that up. Okay, so we've got a grass sensor. So if it's not the grass sensor, then it has to rotate to the right. So reverse the right motor. And then other than that, we just really need a switch and a splitter. We'll just use a single switch and do a triple splitter and go left motor on and right motor on and mower blade on. And we can just turn all that on. That's a problem. It doesn't actually start on the grass. So we're going to need to look at this. It's just going to, oh, eventually, you know what? It just, it just got there anyways. Okay. But it, it went in a little bit, you know, we'll just put a circuit in to have it go straight. So to do that, um, We'll just put an AND gate here, so it has to have a little bit of a delay on it. And then we can put a delay, so the delay can be... Where is the delay? Delay, right? And then we'll make this like three seconds or something. And I think if we wire this up to the start switch, that way it'll delay the start signal. It actually goes right now, that's right. So this game is a little bit different. The logic is active constantly which is, I guess, how it would be in real life. Okay, so then this AND gate we can send to the right motor direction, not really a big deal. 
And on the delay, we'll just do that with a start pulse. And the start pulse will go to the delay. And the start pulse will also go to a counter. And so this will sort of add one to the counter, but this will reset it. So when we start the creation, it'll reset this counter to zero. And then after three seconds, it'll add one. And then we can just say if that is equal to a static value, a little bit, a little bit different to set up the logic for this. So if that's equal to a static value of one, then this can complete the and condition. So that should put a three second delay on the start of it. And that way it goes forward. Perfect, just like that. And uh, it should be good to go. So when we get to the end here, hopefully we can, we're missing a bit of the grass, but hopefully it, it's, it's veering. See, it has nothing to turn it back to the left. That, it missed way too much grass there. How'd you, why'd you go in so much? Maybe we have to have something that naturally forces it a bit to the left. Because right now it's it's perfectly symmetrical. Which means as soon as it turns to the right, or if it veers to the right, see it has nothing to turn it to the left. Okay, we can do this. We'll just, um, we'll take one of these wheels. And we'll just make it a free wheel. And now it's two motors against one. So now it should always push to the right. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. No, that's not, that's not... That's no, that's worse. Let's just let it go through and see actually, you know what? Let's just make both these back ones free wheels just so it goes a little bit slower And let's see how much grass it actually cuts if it gets all the way to the middle It already sucks because it's missing this whole like strip on the one side here. Okay, there we go. That's good Yeah, yeah, that's good nice and slow on the turns Okay, no, that, that's that's absolutely terrible. Okay, let's, you know what, let's delete these back wheels. We don't need them. We'll put a caster wheel on the back instead. Seems like that works a little bit. There we go. Yeah, the wheel on the one side. Okay. It's looking good. 9% of grass cut. We'll let this... No, 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 you suck. With two sensors, it's so much easier to just read, have one sensor reading. It's because I'm trying to do this with only the one sensor. If we had two, we could just have one turn to the left and one turn to the right. This wheel is terrible. All right, this is, I think, this is this is doing as good as it's going to get. I don't think it's going to get 99%, though. I think we're going to have to use two sensors to get the 99%. Look at how, look at how terrible that is. Just drives right into the, into the center. This is definitely not going to get 99%. We'll see how much it gets, though, when it's spiraled all the way into the inside. We'll actually let it run out here. But uh, I, I don't think we're going to... We're going to get much... Okay, let's just keep, you know, let's speed you up. See, like, look at how much it misses. 44%. Sounds like a really high-pitched electric toothbrush or something. All right, um, 70%. It's, it's not going to be 99. There's no way. I mean, if it is, I'd be super impressed. But 88. See, now it's just going to spin in circles. See, it missed way too much on the outside edges here. Let's just set this up with two sensors. I don't know how you're supposed to do it with one very effectively um because it, it seems like you're just gonna you're gonna run into issues really simply we've got an inside sensor we've got an outside sensor and uh both of those sensors have to just have an and condition okay so if the outside sensor is equal to long grass then we got to turn to the left so the outside sensor is equal to long grass we got to turn to the left and if the inside sensor is not equal to long grass, then we got to turn to the right. So you want the inside sensor to always be activated on the grass and the outside sensor to not be activated at all. And hopefully that way it'll ride the line on the outside and get us the perfect like 99% or whatever on the score. So we'll just hook both these up now to the start delay. And then this should hook right into there. So we should be good to go. It should be just that simple. And uh, that way it'll turn. And you can see there now it's going to ride that outer line and hopefully give us a perfect cut here. There we go. So it should, it'll turn to the left and to the right now rather than just turning in the one direction. So this should be a lot better. It should get like, you know, a perfect score except for that little bit of patch at the beginning. But you can see there working really, really well and really simple. Missed that corner too, but that's okay. You know, let's just keep, keep going here. We'll be fine. Okay, come on. Yeah, good. Pick up the inside. Okay. I mean, this is a really, really clean cut. Missing that corner too, that's not good. Come on, auto mow. 46%. I mean, this, I think this is going to be 99%. I'm pretty sure. Missing like four tufts there. One, two, one. Like, 
I, I would think this would be enough to get 99%. If not, I, I feel like all we have to do is move the front wheels forward a little bit more to get the wheel radius a little bit closer to the sensors. But I, I think this is... See, it's missing a little bit in the corner sometimes. Or we move the sensors, I guess, closer to the blade, closer to the center, so the blade cuts more. It seems like the blade is, uh, is the width of it, but, you know, we've got wheels on either side. It's looking pretty good, though. All right, here we go. Finish up, 94%, 95, 96, 97, 98. Okay, you got to get 99 here. 99, there we go. 99%, got in the time achievement. Didn't get it on budget, interestingly enough. Okay, the cheapest idea is 935, budget 750. But, you know, at least we got it, and we got it in the time achievement. And again, using the one sensor, I think I had the right idea I just, I don't think the execution was all there. But you know what? We cut the grass good enough. We'll eventually be selling that grass cutter at all available hardware stores. Uh, so stay tuned. But, uh, you know, again, it's only 99% efficient. So this challenge is is the same deal, but we have to vacuum clean the floor. Um, thank goodness we only have to clean 50% of the carpet surface in this one rather than 100%. So that's, that's good. Uh, what makes this different? Do we have like a dirty carpet sensor? Okay, so it's basically just drive like crazy and vacuum as much the floor as you can and hopefully hit up all these main areas i guess okay and, and, and what's the special objective without using any laser rangers or ultrasonic rangers for this one i think all we're gonna do is uh we're just gonna have two wheels so we'll just put like you know one set of wheels in the front and that'll be it back end can just drag i don't think that'll be a big deal and we're not allowed to use laser rangers or ultrasonic rangers so we have to use proximity sensors um Oh, which give us a really terrible cone to work with. I don't like that cone, because if we put it here, it's going to be sensing the ground, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? We'll try it. So all I'm really going to do is just, I think, just have this avoid all the obstacles on both sides, and we'll see where that gets us to start, and then make adjustments as we need to. So we'll go with this as the left sensor, and we'll go with this as the right sensor. And, uh, and then we'll wire this guy up. So we'll see what happens. I, I don't really expect too much out of this. Maybe it'll work and get 50% just by complete and total luck. But I seriously doubt it'll happen. I think more than likely we're actually going to have to try and do something a little bit different. But who knows? Uh, so if it picks up something on the left sensor, we need to reverse the left motor. No, reverse the right motor. Uh, that's the wrong wrong thing this needs to go to here and if it picks up something on the right sensor we reverse the left motor and that'll turn us away from the right object so that should at least avoid objects okay it's vacuuming yeah no, it does the flip up thing okay we're going that way okay we're so far we've cleaned five percent of the carpet okay good you're heading over that way are you gonna interesting i mean this is probably the simplest design you could do okay perfect you're gonna get stuck in this corner though, aren't you? Yeah, you're let's let's speed up time. I bet you're gonna be stuck in that corner for a while. Yeah, no, it's this is good. It's good. You've cleaned 14% of the carpet. Look at look at you. Look at how much carpet you've cleaned. I am not worried in any way about the robots taking over right now. I feel like if this is what we've got for robot vacuum technology, we are safe. Alright, well let's uh let's try it again. Let's see if we get a different outcome. I don't think we will. I think it's actually going to follow the same path. Looks like it does. I think the problem is these stinking sensors have way too much range on them. I don't like how, how much they see. They don't. We don't really need them to see that much. So I think what we're going to do is instead we're going to just move them like up on an angle so they see very little in front of them and they'll only see the wall or object if we're like right up against it. We'll see how this goes. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, just turn that way. It's stuck in the corner with the chairs. That's fine. Okay, yeah, just do a complete... This is good. We're we're doing something here. Okay, it's looking, looking good. Looking great. Oh, this is good. Come on, get out of there. Oh, perfect. Uh, okay, hopefully we'll go along this wall now. I'm really terrible with the camera. Uh, there's like this weird, really tall wall going on. All right, this is good. You got to get through that gap, though, man. Through that gap. You know, we'll just speed this up. This might take a while. This is definitely a lot better, though. Uh, okay, yeah, you clean up the scraps. Get through the gap. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Out into this area. This is the, the worst vacuum cleaner I think I've ever seen in my entire life. 
we, we could have done this with like an actual sort of grid system maybe. Well, actually, no, we can't because we didn't have any like GPS coordinates. So we would have had to do it with like maybe timers and stuff and have it go for a certain amount of time. We're almost done, 39%. You just gotta get back. No, don't get stuck in the corner. Don't get, don't get, don't, don't get, don't get, get, get out of the corner. All right, I think the only way we're gonna do this is to move the sensors back. We need to have the sensors mounted way in the back and have them sort of clear over top of the vehicle so that we're not, there's too much sensor range here so it can't get into any of the tight areas and we just need to, to sort of do that. So we're gonna put a, a little bit of a, a spacer bar here. We'll change our anchor point. We'll go to default. And we'll just set a little bit of a uh, bar up, something like that. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. And we can use this to mount our sensors to it, hopefully, just like that in the middle. And then we should be able to just take this one, move it, and put it. Can I, I can't put you there? Interesting, do I have to put another one of these on top? Maybe another box cube. Put a little bit higher up. Then should be able to put this sensor there we go uh might need to go a little bit forward but that's okay we can adjust that and then this one just like that as well and then we'll move this whole setup a little bit forward and then there now we should hopefully avoid um or be able to keep ourselves a little bit closer to some of these obstacles i'm hoping There we go, we're going out into the open now, 19, 20%. This is looking a lot better than the previous runs. It's, it's getting, definitely getting a lot closer to the walls you can see there, and uh, closer to the objects. So hopefully we can maneuver our way through. Okay, now you just gotta go up there, perfect. Vacuum more of this, get through there. Oh yeah, go, go through that section and we should be good to go. Okay, yeah, you're, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Just keep, just keep, as long as you keep going forward, man, doing a great job. This should do it. We just need to clean up maybe this section. 47%, 48. Are you serious? 49? Come on. Come on, you got it. There we go, 50%. So the only thing we didn't get is the time achievement. But you know what? Not even that far off. Uh, 2 minutes and 45 seconds is the time achievement. And this was 306. Make sure you let me know what you think of this series, of course, in the comments down below. And uh, let me know what your suggestions are for climbing over that obstacle in the assault course. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you all next time.